What is up, my butter biscuits? Today is my new makeup drops. Are they bops or flops? And I want to let you guys know right from the jump that I am really disappointed. Like, I am just, I'm so sad, y'all. Makeup Forever is coming out with a new version of the matte velvet skin. As you guys know, that has literally been one of my favorite makeup products for probably the past, I want to say maybe three years, maybe even four. Literally, ever since it came out, I was actually once upon a time on their PR list and they sent it to me when it was brand new and came out. And I fell in love with it instantly. I got everyone using it my mom, my sister, my friends, and every Everybody loves it. I don't know why they would reformulate it. And I was looking at Trend Mood's comments and everyone and their mom was like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And I don't understand why they would go and reformulate it. And on top of that too, they got rid of a, like several colors. They got rid of the color that I use or they like switched the colors up. So now I'm gonna have to like find a new one. And then on top of that too, they raised the price of it. So we're gonna be talking about that within today's video, but I'm just like, oh, really disappointed, which I probably will end up doing a review on that powder and comparing it to the old one because I saw absolutely no problems with the old one. On top of that too, even people with dry skin loved it as well too. And normally a, a powder form of foundation is not going to work on dry skin, but people with dry skin still even loved it as well too. So I'm like, why would you take such an incredible formula that has been working for so many people for so many years and switch it up? I'm just like, oh, I'm really bothered about that. Um, But I do wanna say though, they did make the packaging way more cute, but then I'm like, y'all, I don't care about the packaging like when it comes down to that formula i absolutely love it i probably wear that powder i would say maybe five times a week like i love it so much and i'm like really disappointed but i am hoping that it could be better but then at the same time too i'm just like i don't know about that i'm a little bit skeptical because i'm like that one to me is just perfect like i would rate it 10 out of 10 i absolutely love it so i'm like hmm but i will be picking that up actually when it um comes out anyways we'll be talking about that more in detail because i'm gonna read the full description to you guys about like what they changed about it so anyways if you guys are interested in today's video make sure you guys go ahead and keep on watching Watching. Make sure you guys head over to my second channel, click the link down below and subscribe over there. I'm going to be on a cruise for eight nights, nine days. I'm going to be gone for a hot minute and I'm going to be filming the whole thing. So make sure you guys subscribe over there too. I may be filming some videos for this channel on that cruise as well too, because we have like a few sea days where we're just at sea doing nothing pretty much. So I'm just kind of like, you know what? I may film some videos on the cruise. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If I do. I don't know like what I would film, but I'll be having internet service on there. So I'm like, hmm, I could upload on there, which I have heard before when you're like uploading on a ship, like it'll take like a whole day. So we'll see about that. Um, Anyways, uh, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and talk about the new reformulated HD Skin Matte Velvet 24 Hour Blurring and Undetectable Powder. I do want to say this though. I It bothered me. Like even when I did the KVD Serum Foundation, like one of the things about it is it says undetectable. And I'm like, y'all, if you guys are going to be coming out with something full coverage, it's not going to be undetectable you're going to be able to tell like once upon a time i did like feel like the technology will get there to have a full coverage that is undetectable but i don't feel like we're there yet maybe in another like 20 years honestly anything that's full coverage you're just going to be able to tell as much as i love this powder like if you put on a lot of it like if you're trying to get to the full coverage of it, it it's going to show so obviously i haven't tried this new formula yet but i can already say that it's going to be detectable which is totally fine you know what i mean anyway so this is it right here i do want to say the packaging I think is super cute like I really do like the packaging I love like when packaging matches the color on the inside but I do think that they only have four colors of it which kind of like a light a light medium a medium and then a deep um but I do think it is really cute but is that a reason for them to up the price? I don't know. Um, but basically, this is what it says right here. Our favorite powder foundation is back with a silkier texture that melts into skin for a skin-like all-day wear with no caking or creasing, a waterproof and sweat-proof formula that locks in hydration for maximum comfort. I'm super curious about that. As you guys know, I sweat a lot. So I'm like, how is it waterproof and sweat-proof? Like, whenever is a powder waterproof or sweat-proof? Like, I just really doubt that. So we're going to put that to the test whenever I, you know, pick this up. Up. It's coming out on February 17th, so I'm going to be on my cruise. I actually don't get back until the 19th, so well, pretty much the 20th, really. Um, so I don't know when I'll be able to pick this up, but I definitely will be doing a review of that because I'm curious. Um, this says 24 hour blurring, mattifying, and comfort. It says medium to full coverage, natural matte finish, no caking or creasing, waterproof and sweatproof, silky smooth texture, skin like, and it's 32 shades, four shade families, and three undertones. I use the shade um, Y245, and I'm like, why would you guys switch up the shades? Like, I just don't get that if you guys are reformulating it like why make people go through the whole hassle of like shopping for a new color like i've been using that color for years so i just don't know why they would switch it up but this is now going to be 43 dollars so i do think they marked it up four dollars because i want to say it was 39 dollars. i do always pick this up at namies um i do get a 30 percent off discount there you guys know i'm always raving about namies if you guys are makeup professionals if you guys have any uh credentials head over to namies and like sign up there for like a discount because i want to say they give 30 percent off so i'm not too 
too sure how much I normally pay for it, but I want to say the original price was $39. I'm pretty sure. And then this is now $43, which I want to say is getting really, really pricey. Like that is... That's super up there, y'all. Like, that's getting into, like, luxury brand pricing. And I'm just like, y'all need to calm down. But I really am hopeful that this is, like, super, super bomb. I will be, like, whenever I do my review of it, I will be comparing the new one versus the old one. So that way we can know what the differences are. So I will definitely be picking this up, but I am a little bit disappointed about it. Next up right here is a new um, lip screen by Super Goop. Okay, normally I wouldn't spend $22 on a, like, lip product. However, I do want to say, I don't know if you guys can see, as I get older y'all because I'm so stupid every single time that I go out in the summer I don't put sunscreen on my lips well one time I actually did I picked up the sun bum lip balm and that did absolutely nothing for me my lips still got burnt I don't know if you guys can see the outer corners of my lips and for some reason, whatever I used to work at Mac, people would be like, what lip liner are you wearing? I'm like, I'm not wearing a lip liner. And then there was this one girl one time, she was like, you smoke a lot of blunts, huh? And I was like, girl, no, I do not smoke at all. I'll get too paranoid. These are just my natural lips. I think from like getting burnt, honestly, for like so many years. Um, So this, I probably will pick up. Well, depending upon how the texture is, honestly, because I'm like, hmm, it says non-sticky. It's like a lip gloss. So I thought at first, like it was just like a lip balm, but it's like a lip gloss. I don't know. It kind of looks like it would be something interesting and it does have SPF 40. I want to say the sun bum that I got was SPF 15, which didn't do anything for me. So I'm kind of considering picking this up. If any of you guys have tried this or will try it soon, please let me know. I guess it actually just came out a couple days ago. But being that we are going to be getting into summer pretty soon, I'm really curious about this. But $22 is a little bit pricey. But at the same time too, oh my gosh, like whenever I get like sunburn on my lips, it stays dry for like a week and it's just like the most uncomfortable feeling. So I may pick this up. I'm kind of iffy about this. This may be a bop. I don't know. But for that price though, I kind of wish it was like $15. I feel like 15 would be a little bit more of a fair price 22 is is a little pricey i just wanted to talk about this product right here within this video in case you guys did not check out my review of this foundation this is the kvd good apple serum foundation y'all this is new and just in case you guys have not heard about it it's a full coverage with a natural finish transfer proof extreme long wear with a lightweight serum feel I did a full review about this, so I'm not going to go too much into depth on it. You guys can click the link somewhere on this video to check it out and see how I like it. I'm sure you guys can tell from my face how I feel, but it's just kind of like, mm. It's like in between, okay? Let me not say it's a bop or a flop. Honestly, I do think that it will be a really good foundation for some people out there. But it just was not my favorite. But you guys can check out my review and let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys have picked up this foundation, let me know how you like it because I am super curious. I feel like the number one thing is with me is now that I get older, I don't want something that's like too overly drying. Do you know what I mean? But check out that video and make sure you guys let me know your thoughts on it. I think I may have talked about this product before. These are the NYX Fat Oils, which I don't know why they named something after me. Uh, anyways, these are only $9 and they are a lip oil from NYX. And I feel like $9 is a really fair price. As you guys know, where's my favorite? Oh, here it is. My favorite. This Rem Beauty lip oil, y'all. I, I literally can't get over this lip oil. I put it on every day. It just feels so good on the lips. I actually need to put a little bit more on right now. But I just, I love the applicator too. I feel like it makes me want to put more on only because I really love the applicator. But I will definitely be trying out one of these because I do like that they have color to it. But I am curious to know if they're going to be thick. That's my problem. I think I told you guys before, I actually really like the Milani ones. But the Milani ones to me were just too thick. It felt like a lip gloss. And I'm like, a lip oil should feel like a lip oil. Do you know what I'm saying? It should not feel like a lip gloss. But I will definitely be picking up one of these because I do actually like the variety of shades as well as I do like the price point. I feel like $9 is pretty good. I'm just hoping that it's not thick. Do you know what I mean? Which I'm kind of like, hmm. I don't know. It may be. Because it said, now that I'm reading it, it says lip oil gloss. So I'm like, um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of these brands just kind of like go with a lip gloss type of thing. And it's like us people who like a lip oil, like that oily feel. Do you know what I'm saying? Like something that's going to be thin on the lips, not thick. Because if that were the case, we can just pick up a lip gloss. But I'll pick up one of these just to give it a shot. And I'll let you guys know how I like it in the future. This right here are new Hermes powders. This is actually something that I probably would like to try. However, I obviously would not be picking this up because it is Hermes. But I did want to talk about this right here. This is only coming in five shades. And y'all look at the deepest shade. Like. Like, I don't like, okay, look, these are obviously meant to be a light coverage powder, but I just feel like that is way too light, like way too light for being the darkest shade. Like, I just don't, 
I'm not really understanding it. Like these may be a very beautiful powder. I do want to say this though, as I've said before, time and time again, and I feel like I've learned my lesson and I always repeat this when it came down to the Lunar Beauty Outer Dimension Face Palette. Like I was saying in the like product images of that, I was like, oh yeah, it looks super light. And then they actually sent it to me and I was like, oh wow, it actually goes super deep, like super, super deep. So I do want to say product images are obviously, take them with a grain of salt because some of them can be like over contrast. Some of them could like, you know, have too much white around it. So therefore it looks a little bit lighter. Do you know what I mean? But it's pretty safe to say that this is pretty light. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like they would want to emphasize that it is a little bit more deep. Also, I do want to say as well too, I'm sure this is going to be a light coverage powder being that it is, um, it says plain air, healthy glow mineral powder. Um, so I'm sure it's going to be light coverage, but I'm like, can we go a little bit deep there? Cause in my head, if I think of mineral, okay, maybe I shouldn't think this way, but whenever I think of mineral powder, I think of, um, uh, oh my gosh, what is it? Oh my God. I literally just drew a blank on the mat. Oh my gosh. It's it's right here. The Mac powder, the mineralized skin finish. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorite products working at Mac and still till this day. I absolutely love this powder. And I literally forgot the name. Whenever I think of mineral powder, I think of that. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that still provides, you know, enough coverage. So I'm like, huh, I don't know how this will be. But on top of that too, I want to say there is no pricing of this, but Hermes, I'm sure it's probably like $80. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be a flop. Y'all know I normally don't like luxury brand stuff okay but you guys know that i absolutely adore the Giorgio armani luminous silk foundation and i want to say that was like 69 dollars, which is the most expensive foundation i've ever purchased in my life like super expensive but every time that i've bought it well i've only bought it once <laughs> no i bought it twice actually duh i had a 20 percent off discount on it so i do want to say that this right here i am interested in these are new gucci foundations and they're only 67 dollars. and i don't well i don't say only but i'm saying for gucci do you know what i'm saying like i felt like gucci would be super expensive like i felt like it would be like you know 85 dollars, but 67 is cheaper than Giorgio armani i think is Giorgio armani 65 or 69 one of the two any which ways it's not like too overly bad and this does actually sound like a product i will like so i may try this out but obviously only when 20 percent off comes about um this says right here powered by a combination of high skin affinity powders and coated pigments designed to cocoon the skin with a hydrated and breathable finish it holds a second skin feel for all day comfort plus infused with bamboo powder it helps control shine for up to 24 hours while blurring pores and it comes in 40 shades the thing that i do want to say though is obviously Obviously, once again, I don't want to judge anything by images. I do want to say they have an incredible selection of deeper shades, but then I feel like they're missing out on the medium tones. Like I was scrolling through the face models and I was like, okay, the shade range looks really, really good on the light end and on the deep end. But then I'm like medium wise, which I would be in the medium section. I'm kind of like, uh. but I do want to see it in person because obviously maybe... I don't know, maybe just their lighting was off or something because I'm like, huh, they have 40 shades so you would think that they would have a really good variety of it. So I do want to see it in person. This is something that I may try out, which I'm super surprised about because I thought Gucci would be super expensive, especially for a foundation, but... Yeah, I don't know. That sounds interesting to me. Next up on the list, we have new contour sticks by Milk. These are the Sculpt Cream Contour Sticks. These retail for only $24, which is not too bad, but I want to say I love the shades of these. I may actually pick up one of these. I just feel like it's so weird that I can use a cream, but I can't, well, a cream contour, I should say. Um, I could use a cream contour, but I can't use a cream blush. It's like weird. The placement of my like this redness right here is just oh, it's so frustrating. Any which way, I do love me a cream contour and I do like the shades of these. But I feel like, oh my gosh, every single time that I'm going to get a contour product, I feel like I'm in between shades. I feel like I'll be in between shade one and two. I love the grayness of shade one and then I just feel like it'll be a little bit too gray for me, meaning that's gonna be a little bit too light. So I feel like I'd have to mix one in two. I don't know which one I'll pick up, but I may pick this up in the future because I do love me a cream contour stick. And on top of that too, I think I showed you guys this before. I've never actually tried a makeup product from Milk. I've only ever tried their um, primer, the Hydro Grip, as well as the spray. That's like the only two things that I've tried from them. Oh, speaking of which, I think I told you guys before, I actually recently tried out the new e.l.f. Um, niacinamide um, gripping primer. I forget the name of it. Absolutely love it. As you guys know, I used to love the Milk Hydro Grip. However, for some reason, it just stopped working on me. It would like cling certain areas and be patchy. It's just really, really weird. And I don't know why for some reason the um, niacinamide one from e.l.f., oh my gosh, like it is super good. And it trips me out though, because when you first put it on, you like feel like you're going to be super dewy. Like you feel like you're going to have like a 
really, really like big glow. But then as time goes on, it kind of like mattifies it. It is so weird. I absolutely love that. But in which way, I think I will try this out because I haven't really tried a milk product before and these look really, really cute. I do love the shade. So this may be a bop. Here we have another cream contour product. These right here are the Sculptino by Tower 28. I do want to say with these shades, they do seem like they are a little bit more on the warm side. However, I don't have a problem with that as long as they're not coming out too orange. I really do like a product that has a little bit of warmth to it as well as, you know, a little bit of coolness to it, like a mixture, like a neutral. Do you know what I'm saying? So that way I feel like you can use it if you want something that's going to provide a little bit of a warmth, a little bit of a contour. So it's like two in one. I think I've mentioned this before about the Outer Dimension Face Palette by Lunar Beauty. I feel like those shades are just like right in the middle as far as looking like a contour, looking like a bronzer. They're a little bit of both. So I feel like it does give you a little bit of warmth, but then it does give you a little bit of shadow. So that way it's like quick and easy to use. That way you don't have to use both products. I will definitely say though, if I want more of a sculpted look, I probably would go for the milk product because it does have a little bit more grayness to it. But I do want to say on an everyday basis, I probably would use something like this Tower 28. These actually only retail for $20, which I feel like is a very, very safe, a safe, what? A very, very affordable price. Why, why did I get safe? I think because I was reading Seed. I don't know why. Any which way, I don't know which one of these I'll be picking up, but I will definitely be picking up one of the milk or one of the Tower 28. I feel like I'll probably go with the Tower 28 one because it's only $20. I feel like that's super cheap. And on top of that too, I feel like I would probably use that more because don't get me wrong. I absolutely love me a contour that has a little bit of grayness to it, but I just don't use it very often. Like I feel like I, I really love the Patrick Tall um, sculpt powder or sculpt, well, what's it called? Like the sculpting duo. I'm wearing the bronzer right now, actually, which y'all during summer, I absolutely love this powder. I feel like it was so like perfect for me, but like right now I feel like it's just a little bit too orangey, but I've gotten like super pale since the summer. But that contour that comes in there is really, really gray, but I feel like I very rarely use it because I don't go for that sculpted look all the time time. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like I may pick up the Tower 28 one, but we'll see. Okay, we have two more products left. And this one right here is a brand that I've never even heard of before. This is by Cosmic Brushes. Never heard of them before. And honestly, when I first saw just the images of the palette, I was like, okay, it's a pretty palette. But then look at the swatches of this. Like, I don't know, like in my personal opinion, it does look like it's kind of like edited. Like I feel like the contrast was like upped on these, you know, but I do want to say it looks super beautiful like this looks like a really like beautiful color story because you have like a little bit of everything do you know what i'm saying well a little bit of everything in the crazy realm <laughs> i feel like there's like a whole bunch of like fun colors in here and they just kind of like blend well together do you know what i mean i feel like if you are like a daring eyeshadow wearer this may be a palette that you may like and i don't know if it's like just me but i do feel like you know like i said like if the contrast is up on it but the shades look beautiful. Like they look like really, really pigmented. But I don't know. I feel like whenever I like zoom in on something like this, I'm like, okay, this kind of looks a little bit edited. But these days you can never really tell. I don't know. Either which way, I feel like this is a beautiful color story. And this only retails for $23. But it is, um, it says 18 pounds in the UK and then $23. So I don't know if there's any retail site that's here in America. Because y'all, I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I don't be buying stuff from UK. Because nine times out of 10, you got to pay like $20 for shipping. And I'm just, I'm not going to pay that. Like y'all, there was one time that I wanted something. Thing. I forget what it was like was it like the Mitchell I think it was the Mitchell bag before because he had put it on um for sale on his site even though like Beautylish or something like that is like they sell it but they're always out of stock on it the bag that I wanted was like $40 but then shipping was like $25 I'm like I'm, I'm not spending $25 for shipping on a $40 product you know what I mean but I do know shipping is super expensive I'm not blaming the company but I just feel like it's a bit much you know either which way I think that this palette right here looks super beautiful if you guys have ever tried this cosmic brushes before let me know how it is because this palette to me looks looks really it looks really cute like the colors do look a little bit crazy but it looks like fun crazy and last up on the list right here we have new tart blush tape i feel like y'all i've said it before and i'll say it again i feel like tart just runs with the whole shape tape type of thing y'all because like why is this even going into the tape family at all especially if it's like glowy you know because obviously everybody knows the tart shape tape as being like a super matte long wearing concealer so like why is this going in with that i just don't get it i feel like they're just writing off the coattail of that being like their number one selling product any which way these are the liquid glowy blushes and these are in three different shades these are probably going to be a pass for me i honestly probably should have put these in my anti-haul list however i did want to talk about them and i saw it after the fact so i was like you know what let me just go ahead and add it onto this list i do feel like these may be pretty because it does say right here it's a liquid glowy blush but 
I just feel like it's not gonna work for me. As you guys know, I feel like y'all within my anti haul, I repeated myself so many times because there was just so many different products that I was like, oh, can't use that, can't use that. So that's why I wouldn't buy it. So that's why I was on my anti haul list. And I feel like these tart blushes, even though they probably will be beautiful, you know, because it does say glowy. I like anything glowy these days, honestly, but it's just not going to work for me. So that'll probably be a flop for me. Any which way, that is it for my video. Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.